Hey folks, welcome to a special edition of Shooting Up North. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin, and we are heard right here on the Impact Lounge. But before I get started, I just want to say I'm on social media now. You can follow me on Twitter at Shooting Up North, and you could follow me on Instagram at Shooting Up North Podcast. So that's Twitter at Shooting Up North, and Instagram at Shooting Up North Podcast podcast feel free to follow me i appreciate appreciate all follows so uh, feel free to follow me and if you're not a subscriber to the impact lounge feel free to hit that subscribe button as well okay let's get into it so as we as i'm sure everybody knows by now and then i'm sure everybody has seen it uh the slammiversary commercial uh slammiversary commercial uh where they're teasing a number of uh possible appearances uh they run down they have eric young they have luke gallows carl anderson kurt hawkins uh bennett and canalis uh ec3 the bulgarian flag all in that video all teasing that uh either all of them or some of them could be appearing at uh, Slammiversary. Uh, And there's a hooded, there's there's a person in a hood who is watching the video and you you speculate that that person is uh, EC3. I mean, you kind of, you know, the the new character he's going with, so you you, you kind of get the, you kind of get the the idea that, hey, that could be EC3. I mean, you you could think it's it's Sammy Callahan watching, possibly, um, uh, in his new um, in the new hacker persona. But no, I, that wouldn't make sense. So you're thinking it's 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 could be EC3 watching, and and to add fuel to the fire of that speculation, EC3 released his own version of the Slammiversary commercial, which he incorporates himself into the video, and it's it's quite interesting, and it's created a lot of buzz, and a lot of people are now convinced that EC3 is going to be appearing at Slammiversary, and if you haven't seen the video that I'm talking about, it's, uh, it's on his... His Twitter feed, and so basically, uh, you see the guy in the hood, and then he reveals the guy in the hood is basically him, and um, you you see the the flashes the EC three Ethan Carter the third playing his his old music, uh, but then he th- has a uh, his his um, drink glass. And he hurls it at the wall and it smashes and then you see the new logo for, for EC3. So a lot of people are, are, are speculating that that he's coming back. Now, but some people are saying that uh, it's him saying that he's not coming back. Um, but the way I see it, the way I see that video is, is definitely him saying that the old EC3 is dead and this is the new EC3. So by him throwing the glass at the, the wall, which was showing basically the old EC3 logo and smashing that glass was him saying that that EC3 is dead. And you're gonna see a new EC3. And another, another thing that I took away from that is EC3 is doing his own thing now. So for example, you know, the Slammiversary appearances was supposed to be are supposed to be a surprise but you know he's doing his own thing so if they want it to be a surprise he's his own person right now and and he'll do what he wants and he will make that reveal if he feels he wants to make that reveal uh so that's another another uh, way i'm looking at it and when you when you when it all comes down to it he's using impact wrestling footage and i would think that he would need permission from Impact Wrestling to be using Impact Wrestling footage in his in his video uh, that he that that he created. So he's using the footage from the Slammiversary commercial, and uh, definitely would definitely would need to get permission from Impact Wrestling uh, to use that. And it, obviously they they gave it they've given it to him. Uh, so I'm thinking that without a doubt, and my gut feeling that EC3 will be showing up at Slammiversary. Will he be signed by then? I don't know. It's possible it could be a, a one-off appearance, but I, I hope, hopefully it's not just a one-off appearance. I hope Impact Wrestling signs EC3. I've made a, I made a, my, uh, my plea for it in a past podcast. Uh, so I really would love to see EC3 come back to Impact Wrestling. And like I said, give him creative control. Let him do the character he wants to do. He, obviously, he's pushing this new character. Bring him back, man. I think, I think he's coming back. I think, I think that there's... 
definitely interest. Definitely interest in EC3 coming back to Impact Wrestling. Otherwise, I don't think he would he would uh, do this video. And uh, people are saying that, uh, well, you know, he did the video. Um, he incorporated himself into it just to say that there's no chance that he's going back to EC3. Uh, they, they said that he sees, they, he shows the, the EC, old EC3 logo and uh, he throws a glass at it and, and he's there basically to, to kill any hopes that that he's coming back to Impact Wrestling, but I completely disagree with that. I think he's just threw the glass at the at the wall to indicate that the old EC3 character is dead, and the new EC3 character is going to be arriving, and it will be he will be playing by his own rules, kind of like a again like kind of a, a, a Steve Austin char- type character. He's going to be his own person. He's going to do his own thing, and always going to tell him what to do. So I'm. Definitely, definitely. Um, I'm expecting to see EC3 back at Slammiversary. Uh, that um, that that's my expectation. That's my expectation, 100. Uh, percent After watching this video, is I'm expect unless he really unless you know another video comes out where where he indicates otherwise. I'm I'm expecting EC3 back at Impact Wrestling. And there were other people that were on that video as well. Um, Eric Young, uh, they show the Bulgarian flag, which was a reference to Rusev, uh, Luke Gallows, Carl Anderson, Kurt Hawkins, um, Mike Bennett, uh, Maria Canales were also on the video, and Drake Maverick was on the video as well. Uh, but uh, we could we could uh, scratch Drake Maverick's name off because he just recently re-signed with, with um, NXT. Uh, his whole release was, was a storyline, which I think was a little... A little shallow that they used um, his release while so many other wrestlers got released but they used his release as a as a storyline I know Leah Rush is a little upset at that uh, but I'm kind of glad he signed because uh, not that I watch WWE but clips that I've seen on YouTube uh, every clip I've seen lately of Drake Maverick you know aka Rockstar Spud uh, he always ends up crying uh, either in the middle or at the end. So we're not going to see Drake Maverick crying anymore in any more videos. So that, that's a good thing. Got a little tired of watching him cry. Uh, so you can scratch his name off the list. Uh, but um, the Bulgarian flag, you saw the Bulgarian flag. And uh, Rusev, Rusev actually, um, he mentioned that uh, they may have shown the Bulgarian flag, but it doesn't mean that it's him. It could be another Bulgarian wrestler. Uh, wink, wink. You know what I mean? <laughs> Like who else could it be? What who, what are the Bulgarian wrestlers out there? I can't, I I can't think of anyone. So they're definitely referring to Rusev. So you know, Rusev might be giving a little subtle hint uh, that uh, he might be um, one of the wrestlers showing up at Slammiversary, which would be fantastic. Uh, Michael Elgin versus Rusev would be an absolute phenomenal match, uh, main event anywhere. Uh, and uh, Maria Kanellis, uh, she tweets. Um, in, in referring to uh, she's responding to an Impact UK and Ireland uh, tweet in which they showed a clip of her uh, she responds to that by saying and the best is yet to come this year we all need the miracle and I wonder where you could find one oh wait and she gives a little wink emoji so uh, she's kind of hinting, you know, threw a little hint out there that she might be uh, showing up at Slammiversary with, um, with Michael um, with um, Mike Bennett. I almost said Michael Canellis, but I know he was Michael Mike Canellis in WWE. But he would be Mike Bennett uh, if, if he came back to Impact Wrestling. Uh, so a lot of lot of uh, a lot of teasing out there. A lot of teasing out there. And uh, Luke Gallows, Carl Anderson. I, I scroll through their Twitter. I didn't see any teases. Uh, somebody actually made a um, uh, put together a little a, a fan made um, image of uh, Sex Ferguson, which is Luke Gallows' uh, alter ego. Uh, Sex Ferguson in IPWF. Uh, which was the the throwback show that they did a while ago. So um, that's the that's the only reference that I've seen of of Luke Gallows uh, possibly signing. But it wasn't made by Luke Gallows, so it's not really a reference. It was just a fan made image. So Impact Wrestling has created a lot of buzz for them for themselves with this with this video. A lot of a uh, lot of speculation who it's going to be and who's going to show up. If if it's going to be one person, if it's going to be two people, if it's going to be everybody. Uh, so they've created a lot of buzz for themselves. I just hope that they don't kind of drop the ball. <laughs> I hope they don't drop the ball. And I, I don't want to sound negative or anything, uh, but I just hope that um, we do see a really big signing or signings uh, out of this. And um, 
making their debut at Slammiversary. I just hope it's just the. I, I hope that uh, they, the one guy isn't just Kurt Hawkins uh, that comes walking out because there there will be a there, there will be a bit of a. Um, a disappointment uh, in the fans. I know I'd be disappointed. Uh, so hopefully, hopefully they, they're going to do this right, and I'm sure they will. I'm sure they will, because uh, I'm, I'm just thinking back um, when uh, Eli Drake was doing his his open challenge, and they they were hyping a, a huge open challenge at. Uh, I think it was Bound for Glory, a uh, uh, past Bound for Glory. It could have been a different pay per view, and they were hyping um, that there's going to be a huge open challenge opponent coming, and it wound up being James Ellsworth, and that was that was a huge disappointment. So, hopefully, um, they're not going to disappoint. And and like I said, I don't think they're gonna. I think I personally think EC3 is coming back. I think we're going to see Eric Young back. Uh, I do think Gallows and Anderson. Uh, will be coming in, uh, so I, I don't think uh, there's going to be. I think there's going to be a lot of buzz, a lot of buzz created for Impact Wrestling over the next few weeks leading into Slammiversary. Uh, I I can't wait. I can't wait. Uh, and one more thing I wanted to uh, discuss before I wrap this up is FTR, Cash Wheeler, and Dax Harwood have not signed contracts with. AEW, they're on a, a handshake, a short-term handshake deal, and they're free to appear for any promotion that they wish while they're working for AEW. So they could actually, in fact, show up at Slammiversary. Uh, in an interview, actually, they, they mentioned that they really would like to face Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson. Uh, so that's, that match could happen in Impact Wrestling. That match could happen in Impact Wrestling. Uh, I really... I, I Feel Gallows and Anderson. Yeah, they, they, they has a good chance of them showing up at Impact Wrestling. FTR uh, again. They can wrestle for any promotion they want. They might show up at Slammiversary. You never know. You know, they could be there. Uh, we can see Gallows and Anderson showing up, and lights go out, and they come on, and, and FTR are in the ring, and they attack Gallows and Anderson. You know, anything's a possibility right now. Anything's a possibility. I I was under the impression that they actually signed a contract with AEW, as was everybody, uh, but they did reveal uh, yesterday that they have not sign a contract with AEW and it's just a short term handshake deal Uh, so who knows possibilities there for them showing up at Slammiversary as well so like I said a lot of great great possibilities for Slammiversary a lot of of buzz coming up in the next few weeks for Impact Wrestling and uh, there's going to be so much speculation and um I think they're doing it right this time, and I just can't wait for Slammiversary. It can't get here quick enough. So that's it for me today on this special edition of Shooting Up North. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin, and until next time, thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye. Stay safe, everyone. So long. Bye-bye.